What's up, Cal Gang? Welcome back to some dynamics. So let's solve this problem. So we're given these two gears, uh, so gear A and gear B. And we're given that A rotates with an angular acceleration of 2t to the third radians a second squared. And it also has an initial angular velocity of 15 radians a second, going both of them uh, clockwise. So we're going to find the angular velocity of B, this other gear that's locked in with A, at 3 seconds. So how are we going to do this? Well, what do we know about gears? Well, if gears are locked in, then the velocity has to be the same at the ends of both of them, right? Because they're both going up at the same time, right? The velocity of B has to same as the velocity of A. So we know that the linear velocity of B at the surface, or at the end of it, has to be the same as the linear velocity of A at their surface. Uh, so how can we relate this to angular velocity and angular acceleration? Well, we know that velocity, that linear velocity, is equal to the radius of that circle times the angular velocity of that circle. So we can add that for both of these, radius of A, angular velocity of A. Okay, so what are we trying to find? The angular velocity of B. So let's go ahead and divide by radius to get that by itself. So here's the angular velocity of B. That's equal to radius of A over radius of B times the angular velocity of A. So the problem here is we're not actually given the angular velocity of A. We're given the angular acceleration of A and the initial angular velocity. So how are we going to do this? Well, let's plug in what we know. So is equal to radius of A over radius of B. And what do we know about angular acceleration or angular velocity? Well, angular velocity is the integral of angular acceleration. So if we take the integral of the angular acceleration, which is 2 t to the third, and with respect to time, this is going to give us our angular uh, velocity of A. So again, radius of A over radius of B. This integral, right, that's going to come down. It's going to become 1 half t to the fourth. And then we have to add our constant. And so what is this constant? Well, this constant is our initial angular velocity. So let me go ahead and erase that. What do we know our initial angular velocity to be? Well, it's 15 radians a second. So we can go ahead and plug that right in. 15. Okay, so then all we have here is to plug in our time. All right, we're looking for three seconds. So let's plug in our radiuses too. Take a C for this. All right, so what's radius of A? Well, radius of A is 100 millimeters, and radius of B is 175. Then we're going to divide it by 1 half, 3 to the 4th, right? We're plugging in 3 seconds, plus 15. All right, make sure I look like I'm doing this equation right. It looks good to me. So then you're going to get that our angular acceleration of B is 31.7 radians per second. And there we go, we solved the problem. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool question, right? Uh, just kind of a concept question, right? Not really a lot of math involved, but it's about understanding the problem as a scope. So if you're still struggling with this angular stuff, feel free to check out my channel. I have a whole bunch of videos on the topic. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.